Hey everybody, it's Astonishing Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to build a LEGO M&M's slot machine dispenser. This was made in celebration of our LEGO M&M's dispenser reaching 5,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas. Simply put, LEGO Ideas is a petition website where fans can support their creations in hopes of reaching 10,000 supporters consequently being considered by LEGO to become an actual LEGO set. That being said, our project is already over halfway to 10,000 supporters, so if you could go to bit.do forward slash candy machine or click the first link in the description, it will bring you to the page where you can support our project in hopes of reaching 10,000 supporters. If you haven't seen the machine yet, I also created a video for it, so that is also provided. Without further ado, let's show you how this puppy works and how to build it. First, you are going to construct this by combining three 4x12 plates and aligning the top with 2x4 bricks. Notice how we left this part open. Take two units of this, it's a 2x6 on top with a 2x4. Place the first one on the right and the second one on the left. Then align the back with 2x4 bricks. Over here we're going to put down this item which is a 1x4 brick with holes and put two connector pegs with knob tips in. And then take this brick, put it here. Now construct this, it's a 2x4 brick on top of 2x6 and then we have two 1x4s with holes with connector peg knob tips on each end. It doesn't matter what color they are. And we are going to build something very similar for this side. Now notice that we actually have 1x4 bricks with studs on the sides without putting in the connector pegs. Let's turn it to the front and look at the area that we left blank. We're going to put down three 3x2 three inverted slopes that are dark gray and then two 3x1 inverted slopes. Now take a 1x8 plate and top it with a bunch of 1x1x2 third slopes. Then build two of this, it's a 1x2, 1x1 plate on top of a 3x1 curve. A 1x6 tile. Put down two 2x4 bricks. Build another unit of this, two 1x8 bricks and at the bottom a 1x3 brick. Take two 6x1 curves and on top of it put on a 3x2 slope. Do this twice. Here's our second one, and fill up the middle with the 6x2 curve topped with a 3x2 slope. Take a 2x4 brick and on the top over here you're going to put on a 3x2 slope and a 4x3 slope. Click it on over here, make sure the ramps connect. Rotate it around and we are going to build this. It's a 2x2, 2x4, 2x8, 2x4. Time to build the colorful stripes that decorate the side of the machine. You're going to build this element first. It's simply a 1x8 plate topped with a 1x4 tile, a 1x2 tile, and two 2x1 red curves. Here we have built a second one. Let's move that back. For the orange, we're going to start off with a 1x4 plate topped with a 1x4 tile offset by one so we can accompany the 2x1 orange curve. Then we are going to build this element, which is a 1x6 topped with a 1x4 tile and then a 2x1 curve. Clip them together. Also make a second one of that. Start the green with the 1x6 plate topped with the 1x4 tile and a 2x1 green curve. For the second part of this green element, you're going to take a 1x3 plate, top it with a 1x1 and 1x2 tiles, and then a 2x1 green curve. And as usual, we're going to duplicate that, so we have this. Next, combine a 1x4 plate with a 1x2 tile and a 2x1 curve. Then build this element, which is a 2x2 plate topped with two 2x1 two curves, one in orange and one in green, and a 1x2 orange tile. We're going to click that together over here. Now take a 2x4 plate and top it with two 1x1s and a 1x2 green tile, a 1x2 red tile, and a 2x1 red curve. Clip it onto the green so we can have this stripe carrying on. Take a 1x2 green plate, top it with a 1x2 tile, and then put on a 2x1 green curve. And finally, a 1x2 red plate, a 1x2 red tile, and a 2x1 red curve clip it on over here, and believe it or not, we are actually going to build a duplicate of that as well. Add your single color curves starting with orange, advancing to green, and finishing in red. 
copy this move onto the other side as well. We are going to take another three by two and four by three slope and apply it to the back. And on the back of that, put on a one by six blue brick, then two six by one curves. Build this part, it's three two by fours, a fourth two by four, top that two by four with the two by two, and then put a two by three on the side, click it onto the left side. Now take three more two by fours and connect them with a one by eight brick. In the front, we are going to assemble this element, which is composed of two three by one inverted slopes, two one by one dark gray bricks, a one by six plate, a one by four plate, and on the top, we're going to put on two blue one by one plates and then two one by two. We are going to bond this to the rest of the machine by building this. It's two one by six blue plates. Connect them together with this one by two blue plate and put on two more one by two blue plates. And on the top of each one of these one by two blue plates, that's getting repetitive, sorry. You're going to put on two one by one by two thirds blue slopes. Put down a two by two plate. Take a two by three blue plate and top it with two one by one by two thirds blue slopes and then a two by two blue tile. Now take a two by two blue plate and top it off with a one by three blue plate, a one by one by two thirds blue slope and a one by one blue tile. And on the top of that, you're going to take a one by two blue plate and top that off with a one by one by two thirds blue slope. Take a one by two blue plate and top that with a one by one by two thirds blue slope and a one by one blue tile. Take two one by four blue plates and top it with a one by three plate. Similarly, on the other side, we're going to stack two one by three blue plates and top that with a one by two blue plate. On both sides, take a one by one with a hole in the center and put in a connector peg with a knob tip. On this one, put on top a one by one plate. On this side, stack two one by three plates. And on the other side, two two by threes. Build two of this. It's two three by one blue curves connected together with a one by two blue plate and wiggle it into this side and the other side. Turn it to the back and we're going to stack a few layers. Let's start off with this. Don't be overwhelmed, I'm going to explain it. It's a one by four, a one by two, a one by three, a two by three, a two by four. On the second layer, a two by four, another two by four, a two by three, and another two by four to connect these two by fours. On top of that, take two two by fours, and then the third brick will be a two by two. And finally, two two by fours. Build this piece, which consists of a one by three blue plate, a one by two blue plate, topped off with a one by two blue tile, then a one by one by two thirds blue slope, another one by two blue plate, and then a one by two brick with a central hole. Take two more one by three blue plates. On top of that, put on a one by one blue plate, and on top of all of that, put on a three by one blue curve. Take a one by one brick with a central hole and fill the hole with a connector peg knobbed tip. And you're going to connect this connector peg to the uppermost hole that's between the two main studs. So pretty much here. Then you're going to place this on and take a one by two brick and a one by three brick, clip them on here. Take a one by two brick with a central hole, then a two by two brick a two by three brick and a one by two blue plate and connect it to this one by two with the central hole like so. Move this to the side, take a 10 stud long axle. First of all, put through a 24 tooth gear. Then take two 40 tooth gears and print out the decals that are linked in the description. Do not change the file size. Cut them out from printer paper, put double side tape on the back and put them onto these two 40 tooth gears. Make sure that they align perfectly you can make sure they align perfectly by putting on an axle while you're putting on the sticker. Anyways, once you've done this three times, you're going to put on the first reel all the way down to the axle until it meets the 24 tooth gear. Take this part we built at the beginning and wiggle it down. Take our second reel and wiggle it down. Note how the red faces line up. Take another 24 tooth gear and finally our third reel with the red face showing front and center. Finally, take that thing we built earlier and place it on over here. To build the arm of the machine, start off with these five pieces. It's a seven stud long axle, two half stud long bushings, a third half stud long bushing, and then this piece. Build 
build this two-piece element three times and connect each one on top of the other. To cover this red axle, take this piece and you can insert it right through. Take a 1x2 blue brick with the central hole, wiggle the arm through, put on a 20 tooth gear with an internal clutch, this is crucial to the machine, and on the end of the 7 stud long axle, you are going to take this yellow piece and in the very end you're going to fill it with a connector peg that would connect to a half stud long Technic beam. And make sure that while this arm is up, the yellow part actually faces the other way, making a 90 degree angle. Let's put in the reels. And now before we put on the arm, I attached three pieces, specifically a one by one brick with the central hole and that hole put in a black connector peg. And in that black connector peg, round up a Lego official rubber band. You can use one that's not from Lego, but just to ensure that your elasticity is the same as mine, make sure it's from Lego and you're going to put that through the connector peg of this yellow piece. Now put this one by one with the central hole in so that the black connector peg is facing the back of the machine. And then you're going to put this in so that this one by two blue with the central hole is touching another brick. And note that while this is down, you probably want the red facing center just for convenience in the long run. Move this aside and we are going to build this part. It's a one by one, a two by three, and on top of that, a two by four and a one by six. To build this next part, you need a one by six, a one by three, a two by three, a two by two, on top, a one by three, a one by two, a two by three, and a one by six. On top of this, put on a one by two, a two by four, and a second two by four, and then connect three one by sixes like so. In this area over here, we're going to build something. Specifically, take two two by two blue plates. Let's actually turn this over so you can see me as I'm building. Put it down over here, then take a one by two blue brick, a one by two brick with a central hole, a four stud long axle, and then a 30 tooth gear. Put it in like this, and then pull it over, put it right by the 1x2 blue brick, and then close it off with a 2x2 blue plate. We are going to build another piece. It's a 2x4, a 2x3, on top of that another 2x3, and in between those, a 2x2. Click it on right here, and you're going to notice that we have this dip down area, for the lack of a better term, and we're going to put in a 1x2 blue brick. Take two 1x6 plates and put them next to each other. Then take a 2x2 plate, top it off with a 1x2 brick with a central hole and put in a connector peg with a knob tip. You're going to build two of these. The first one is going to go two studs from the left and the second one is going to go right in the center. And to the connector peg we're going to attach a lime green dome and then a red 2x2 dome. Now take a 1x1 brick with a 1x1 plate and wiggle it in between. Now take a 1x3 brick with a 1x1 plate in the right corner. Now take a two by four plate on the top, put in another one by two brick with the central hole. And as you can probably see, we have a connector peg with a knob tip. In it, we're going to put in a two by two orange dome and you're going to attach it over here. Now take a one by two brick with an axle in the center and you're going to put in a connector peg with an axle side and then a round side. You're going to clip it onto the orange dome 2x4 plate. Now build this five piece element. It's a 1x2 plate, a 1x3, a 1x4 plate, a 1x2 plate, and then a 1x1 brick with a central hole. Connect all these domes together with two 1x8 plates. Now take two 2x4 bricks and clip them onto the left side. Take two 2x3 plates and connect them in this particular way. We are going to attach that to the orange, or not to the orange, but the thing between the orange and the lime dome. And it will also connect to the one by two piece with the axle hole. Now take an L, a one by four brick, a one by one brick, put it over here. You are going to take a three by one blue curve. In this area, put on a one by one plate and then take two more one by one plates and put them on the other end of the curve. Put it over here. It doesn't actually stick to anything. We're actually just going to build Lego around it so it does not fall out. It works just as well. Now construct this. It's a one by two blue plate on top, a one by four brick with three central holes. 
and then two one by two plates. In this centermost hole, you're going to put in a tan gear, which is round on one side and axle on the other side. And as you can already see, I put a 24 tooth gear into that connector peg. And then we're going to put in two light or medium bluish gray connector pegs with knobbed tips, connect it through. From here, we are going to take two four by four plates. And in between, we're going to stack up two layers high of six macaroni quarter corner pieces and then you're going to connect it all together like so. Make sure that red is facing outwards. And then when you put this in, make sure just the edge of the macaroni piece is facing towards us with the other one facing downwards. Notice how we install this so this is touching the 30 tooth gear. It's time to put on the part we made earlier, put it in the front and make sure to hold this floppy piece so that it stays up on the white gear. Take a 1x4 plate, top it off with the 1x8 plate and a 1x2 plate, then put on a 2x6 plate. Now take two 2x4 two bricks and connect them to a 2x3 plate and a 2x4 brick. Put this over here. Take a 1x2 plate, on top of it a 2x3 plate, a 2x2 tile and a 1x1 tile. Clip it on. Take a 1x2 plate, on top of that a 1x2 tile. As we rotate this around, let's do some of the back. Take a one by six brick, one by one, two by four, one by four. Specifically, take a one by three brick, a two by four, and another two by four over here. Then take two two by four bricks, a one by four brick with three central holes. On the two leftmost, you're going to put in the knob tip connector pegs, and on the side, a two by three plate. Now take two one by six bricks, stack them offset by one. And over here, put on a two by two brick, going to slide this in. Now take a one by three brick, on top of it a two by six brick, and you're going to put this over on this side. I made a minor mistake, let's remove this, rotate it around and push it a little bit further back, therefore the two by two reaches the back wall. Now take a four by two slope and a four by three slope, and you're going to put them right by the macaroni pieces in the four by four round plates. Take a 1x2 blue plate, a 2x3 plate, a 2x2 tile, and a 1x1 tile. Then, similar to what we did previously, take a 1x2 plate on top of a 1x2 tile. On this side, put on a 1x1 brick. Then, take a 1x2 brick with two holes, fill it up with two connector pegs with knob tips. Put one on this side, and you're going to build that again for this side. Take these parts we made at the beginning of the video, and you're going to put them on the sides of the machine. So, let's put the first one here and the second one here. So now we have a symmetrical stripe design. What would an M&M slot machine dispenser be without the M&M? So it doesn't matter if this is open or not, but you can actually put in about six M&Ms, I would say is good enough to load the machine. You can put in a little bit more. In the back, put down 12 six by one curves. To cover up these studs for a smooth finish, take a two by six blue plate and on top of that, Put on four two by one green curves, four two by one blue curves, and four two by one red curves, especially in this design or in this pattern if you have the pieces. Now we're going to finish off the top with a similar design for these last four studs. I took a four by eight plate, and then on top I put on a four by six plate, and then along that I put on four four by one blue curves and four more four by one blue curves. Put this on top, and then over here, I took a four x four blue plate. In the middle, I put down a two x four blue plate, and then I took four two x one blue curves and four two x one orange curves. We are seven pieces away from completion. Take a two x four white plate, and on the top and in the center, put on a two x two white plate. Now take two sets of two two x one white curves and put on these M and M stickers. Information on those stickers is in the description as well. And for our last final piece, take a two by two red round tile and put on the last sticker. And just like that, you have finished your Lego M&M's slot machine dispenser. Congratulations, you have finished building the Lego M&M slot machine dispenser. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at astonishingstudios at gmail.com. I pride myself in having quick replies. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope to see you guys very soon with another cool creation. Take care. Give me